guys, so it's 9 o'clock at night, and um, as you saw, shockingly, 171, 171.2. Um, exciting. I'm really, really happy I'm going down so fast. I really think I have to give credit to, some, to the medicine, because I haven't been working that hard, and I'm shocked that I'm still going down so fast. So I'm really giving some credit to my Metaform, my dosage upage. It's probably really helping me uh, process my sugars and all that, and everything it's supposed to do. Tomorrow, I have a wedding to go to. Uh, just trying on some outfits to try to figure out what's wedding appropriate. It's a semi-formal casual. I don't know, I don't go to weddings, so I don't know. Hopefully this will be good. I hope. Uh, real quick. Oh, I had a shout out. Oh no! I. Alright, that shout out goes to PM Justin Y. Uh, he's got some videos up, I do believe. Some hipster videos of him doing some little dancing. Uh, go ahead and check him out. I'll be putting a link down there. Uh, thank you, Justin, for being subscriber known for f number 50. Um, hmm, it's 9 o'clock at night. Real quick. I was going to ask you guys, as the question of the day, have you seen any of these four movies, and what did you think? I'm a fan of all of them. The one you, most of you probably heard of the most, Kung Fu Hustle. Uh, I really like Stephen Chow's style. Ichi the Killer. CJ7, also by Stephen Chow. And Shaolin Soccer. So yeah. There's one other I forgot about. And that is Chocolate. And another one, why not add it to the list? Old Boy. Really liked Old Boy. So, I want you guys to let me know what you think of those movies, if you've seen them. If not, I'd recommend them all. Uh, let's go back through them real fast, because might as well add some meat to the video. Chocolate. Um, her mom had a baby with a rival syndicate leader, and like both syndicate leaders like hate her now. But the baby was born uh, retarded with some mental problems, but of course she's excellent at Kung Fu. Um, not much to say about Shaolin Soccer. It's just, it's cheesy but awesome. It has a really nice ending to it. And it's like, the movies are silly, but they're still really strong emotionally. CJ7, a more kid-friendly version, like a Disney meets Steven Kung Fu Hustle. Disney meets Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty good. Go back to Kung Fu Hustle. Really, if none of you have seen this movie, it's a really good movie. It's a really good movie. Eh, it probably, some people are going to like it more than others. It's really going to depend on your tastes. If you're accustomed to watching foreign movies to begin with. And if so, if you're like, oh, I like foreign movies. I like seeing movies that are produced differently and have a different aspect to them. A different brand of humor, a different brand of seriousness than American movies. You'll really enjoy the Stephen Chow movies. Ichi the Killer. Uh, it's got some pretty sadistic parts in it. Um, some pretty bizarre, perverted parts. They're like, I doubt you can see it, but right there, there's a guy being hung by chains and needles stuck through him, and it's pretty bad. I think he gets a hot oil puller on him too at some point. But no, an old boy? Great movie about this guy that gets locked away for 15 years, and then he's let out, and he has three days to figure out why some mysterious person imprisoned him what he did that was so bad that someone stole 15 years of his life. A uh, great movie, great movie. I don't know what else to say about him. So just let me know in the comments if you haven't seen him. Uh, if not, uh, check the links below. I'm going to try to find a trailer for every single one of these movies and put them in my pants bar, under bar, information zone. But no, uh, tell me what you think. And if you guys have any ideas, like, hey, I'd like to hear you talk about Perez Hilton, or I don't know, I'm not very political. I don't know. Oh, well, that did bring something to mind. The whole mosque, two blocks away from Ground Zero, I think it's fine. We're all, our country is built on freedom, and you, you know, we're all equals and all that, but we're like, what? No, we don't want that that close. It just doesn't seem right, and I really think that 
uh, Obama backing it is the right choice. I'm not saying that I like Obama for president. I don't have anything against him, but I'm not like, boo, Obama, you're so bad. But, I mean, he's right to back it up. I mean, we're all about our principles, but then when, you know, it's going to hurt our feelings, we don't like it. We're just like, oh, that's an exception. You know, we don't want any of those people there. I can understand how it steps on sensitivities. I can upset, understand how people are going to be mad about it. But you just got to deal with it. Just like white supremacists, I believe they have the right to walk down the street. And if it makes me so mad, I want to throw a rock at their head. I don't have a right to throw a rock at their head. But they can spout their views about things all they want. And I believe in that right. And I believe everyone should have that right. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys when I see you. I'm going to have to get up really early and uh, go to this wedding, which I'm all excited about. I'm really happy for Ben and Kim, downstairs neighbors, but also longtime friends of me and my boyfriend, Chris. So I wish you the best. They're having a beautiful a wedding up on the top of the mountain here. In Arkansas, there's not many mountains, so but I'm not going to tell you where. Um, hmm. I wish them the best. I wish you guys the best. I'm saying it right to you guys. I'm gonna immortalize my wedding wishes for you. Alright guys, I'll see you whenever I see you next. Don't know when that'll be.